Well, hello. These are the announcements for the Tomorrow River Lutheran Parish for April 23rd, 2023. That is the third Sunday of Easter for those of you scoring at home. And I am grateful that we have this opportunity to talk together so that I can bring you up to speed. Uh, there are three opportunities for in-person worship this week. We have the two Sunday services, 8.30 at Peace and 10.15 at Nelsonville. There is also the Thursday evening service at Nelsonville. Music starts at 645. Service proper starts at 7. Holy Communion is offered every week at the Thursday night service. And for any of you who feel uh, the pull of the Lord's table, uh, we're offering it now in, in the parish uh, at least six, maybe seven times uh, every month, depending on the month. There are no reasons why you uh, need to be uh, asked absent from the Lord's table. And if you can't come to the table, we'll bring the table to you. You call me, you call Pastor Gretchen, we will come, we'll bring communion to you, we'll pray with you. Um, if you want to do communion with your family, that can be arranged. Um, the table of the Lord is set for you, that you might have your sins forgiven, uh, that you might know the grace and peace of God. Uh, we're uh, beginning the outdoor service again on May 14th. That's Mother's Day. And it will continue this year, uh, May 14th through the last Sunday in October. Uh, so God willing, we won't have to stand in the snow again. Uh, but, you know, if we need to, that wasn't the end of the world. Christians in different times and places have suffered far worse. Uh, but the plan now is that it be a, a, an addition uh, to our worship life and not the center of our worship life. Uh, the prayer list. Um, there are no new names on the prayer list, uh, but uh, a little bit of context for some of them that, that was missing in weeks previous. Uh, we're still thinking about Anne-Marie who, uh, who lost part of a finger uh, separating dogs that were uh, at war with one another. Uh, we're still thinking about Casey uh, who has NMO and is a, a relative, a brother and a brother-in-law uh, of two of our members at Peace. Uh, and we're thinking about a couple of guys in particular who just got out of the hospital and are continuing uh, their, their healing journey. Now, the rest of the names you've seen before, I continue to commend them to you and to remind you that if you are in need of prayer, we're delighted to put you on the prayer list and to pray for you at whatever level of anonymity seems right to you. Uh, other things that we should talk about. Uh, Peace is having uh, uh, is in the middle of major uh, work uh, on the physical plant. We had part of the roof on the education wing cave in, uh, and so we have now replaced that roof uh, with a with a rubber membrane roof, and now the the opening the walls and opening the ceilings and seeing, you know, just how much damage uh, has been done uh, is in process. Uh, we've received a couple of very large gifts. Uh, it's going to be at least $110,000. Uh, there was more damage to the joists and to the decking of the roof than we had hoped. Uh, and we don't know yet what we're going to find when we open the walls. Uh, but as a starting point, $110,000. Uh, we've received a couple of gifts, uh, but but uh, calling, I'm calling the community uh, to just make this disappear. Uh, and that, that if you give a gift uh, for the roof uh, at peace, the gift will be used 100% uh, to defray the cost of the roof. So we don't have to, we don't have to put it on the note, uh, put it on the mortgage, that would be bad. And if we get additional gifts beyond what the repairs cost, all of that will go toward paying down the mortgage, paying down the note, uh, so that we can be set free of that and use uh, the resources that are here uh, for ministry instead of uh, again, building debt. So um, a, a call to all of the people of God who gather at Peace or Nelsonville uh, to think about this as a, as a fit source of an extra mile offering. Now remember, this has to be in addition to your uh, other gifts. Um, the, the work of the church has to continue. It doesn't do us any good at all to have a paid for building uh, and no ministry. Uh, and so uh, we're asking for additional generosity as God has blessed you. 
Uh, there is a special congregational meeting coming up at Nelsonville. The Constitution says that we have to notify the community uh, at least two weeks in advance, so this is part of that. It will be announced at both services as well, uh, and that special congregational meetings are only uh, to conduct business that is previously announced so that the people of God can uh, have opportunity to think about uh, what's being asked of them. So there'll be a link uh, under this video where you can read the uh, the, the special congregational meeting uh, announcement. Uh, but in short, uh, we are uh, asking the congregation to, uh, to pr uh, approve uh, the, the work of the endowment committee at Nelsonville uh, for uh, uh, gifts uh, out into the world from the endowment fund. And then we are wanting to have a conversation. Um, the church council asked to have this added to the special congregational meeting. Should we reopen the 2023 budget of the Nelsonville congregation to make Bethany home in Wapaka a benevolence partner? Should some percentage of our giving every week go to support Bethany Home. Uh, right now, the first 27 cents of every dollar that, that come into the church uh, go to Benevolence Partners, and there's a list of them that's, that's given in the announcement. You know, some goes to the bishop, some goes to the national church, some goes to World Hunger, some goes to Lutheran Disaster Relief, some goes to, uh, to Lutheran World Relief, Lutheran Social Services, Justice Works, um, the, the Portage County Crisis Center. Uh, the 27 cents out of every dollar uh, goes uh, first to, to people in need. Before we pay the first salary, the first uh, nickel to the government, uh, the first nickel to, uh, to our utilities, uh, we take care of our ministry partners. And the question is, should Bethany be one of those ministry partners? Should we go from 27% to 28 or 29 or 30? Now, the church council has no recommendation for the congregation in this matter. The pastors counsel that we do not for reasons that are listed in the resolution. But this is a decision of the people of God who gather at Nelsonville, May 7th, immediately following the 1015 worship service. So 1045, 1050, something like that. On May 7th, you are hereby notified. Uh, confirmation classes are, uh, are in full swing again uh, for the rest of the year. We're meeting at Peace at 7 o'clock for the in-person discussion group. Uh, at, uh, the online group meets at 8. Uh, confirmation is a public ministry of the church. You are encouraged. I'll plead with you if it would help uh, to come to confirmation. It does the youth a world of good to see the adults of the church, uh, their elders in faith, uh, learning, questioning, growing, struggling, striving. Uh, and so you're welcome to come and to ask any question that seems right to you. Uh, the materials are always available on the confirmation uh, page of the church website. So right up at the top, top left, uh, there's a, a button that says confirmation. You tap on that it takes you to the confirmation page there's the link for the online group and this week's videos and teaching notes uh, and so whether you come or not you can avail yourself of those uh, and it uh, it's a good thing that we continue to learn together Sunday school is back on <coughs> we paused for the Easter break excuse me um, meets at 9 o'clock at peace 930 at Nelsonville kids can flip-flop churches it's the same lesson at each church now whatever is best for your family but we love uh, to have kids show up. A lot of families got out of the habit of Sunday school during, uh, during the COVID. Uh, and so we're hoping that, that over time, families remember and avail, uh, uh, make, make use of that gift for their children. There are a lot of other announcements below, but I think I've taken enough of your precious time. Uh, I hope that you'll read them. I am grateful uh, for your attention, and I'm grateful to be part of this community, this family in the Tomorrow River Parish. You take care. May God bless, protect, and keep you in faith. Bye-bye.